This month's challenge involves cooking with tea. For this month, I'm going to work on Chinese braised glazed spare ribs infused with tea. For the sauce, I use a half a cup of ketchup, quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of honey, quarter cup of maltose, quarter cup of hoisin sauce, and a quarter cup of onions. Next, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, uh, rice wine, one tablespoon, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon of sesame seed oil, one teaspoon of five spice powder, powder, a couple cloves of garlic, and for the tea, I'm using a organic jasmine green tea for the aromatic uh, or the floral flavor and a uh, uh, breakfast English breakfast tea for a stronger tea flavor. This is the maltose. It's a very thick uh, syrup, thicker than honey. It's uh, slightly sweet. It's not really as sweet as honey, um, but it has a slight multi flavor. For this recipe, I'm using pork spare ribs. Uh, so the only thing I'm really going to do with this is trim off the excess junk and cut them into individual bones. And usually on a slab of spare ribs, it's 13 bones. Uh, one of the things I like to do is to pull off the membrane off the back of the bones. I've already started it. Started. It's just starting it at one corner and start pulling it off. It's like a... Uh, of a sheet of plastic or or whatever that membrane is. All right, the, this recipe is pretty straightforward. One of the first things I do is to uh, make the sauce, and basically what you do is just uh, combine all the ingredients and bring it over a low heat so all the all the uh, sauces mix, or all the ingredients mix. Next, I'll add the pork spare ribs. Alright, I've added the uh, ribs to the sauce. And I'm going to mix well. So, ribs themselves is one of those uh, cuts of meat that benefits from low, slow cooking. So this is where the braise comes in. I'm going to add uh, half a cup of water so there's extra moisture for the ribs to cook and add the tea bags in and just let it simmer for about an hour so that's the braised part and as the ribs cook the moisture will evaporate and the ribs will start uh, glazing themselves so that's the braised glaze that I'm talking about so I'm going to cover, let this simmer, lowly, slowly, for about an hour. The ribs have been cooking about an hour, so they've, uh, they're have they starting to fall off the bone. I've taken the lid off to allow the moisture to evaporate. As it evaporates, the uh, ribs will start being coated with the sauce.